Okay, I'm about to do these four little quick, simple DIYs. Only thing I'm going to do is spray paint them all white. And I'm going to use this paint, the matte white finish, 25% more. This costs about three, four dollars at your local Walmart. I got all these from Dollar Tree. Got this cute love sign, love you sign. This is a family love sign. I'll show you guys that once I finish it. I already taped it up. Then this family sign um, from Dollar Tree. Y'all see me haul this and these three I just got from Dollar Tree just today. I'm going to cut um, the ribbon off and all that because I'm going to use some twine instead. But... But this is what they look like in the beginning, and I'll show y'all once I spray paint them. This is the after of those signs. This is what that sign says. It says, families where begins and love never ends. Here I'm just showing you guys where I put the love signs over the fireplace with the um, Dollar Tree heart wreaths. You guys remember when I did for Christmas, I also did the wreaths with the Merry Christmas signs. Pretty much the same thing, but more of a rustic farmhouse thing. Okay, here I'm showing you guys where I displayed the family sign on this letter and it fits in great with the decor that I have on it. Okay, you guys, here's the other family sign that I painted white as well with um, along with the other heart reef DIYs I did er in a earlier video. This is on my stairwell. Ooh, okay. Okay, my natural beauties. Here's another DIY that we're doing today. I got this from Dollar General. It was $2.50. And I'm going to paint it white. First, I'm going to clip this out so I can... Um, I think I'm gonna put it back or either put a heart um what's the heart um pieces that Dollar Tree sell the little heart diamonds they got now either put that back or put this thing back on there but for now I'm gonna just cut it out and I'm gonna paint this white and this will go I'm gonna put some um I'm gonna put some what is it twine right here and this will go in the foyer area as well um where my home side where the reef is at i'm gonna put this where the reef at i'm getting this idea from another youtuber i see she bought hers i don't know exactly where she bought them from but she bought these kind of flowers and they were already glammed up and pretty and of course that's not in my budget i think she got it from somewhere like home Goods or something like that but you know with an old sign for the home she put this instead of the reef like everybody else is doing like i got myself so um i was like wow that is pretty so i'm gonna do the same thing but i'm gonna paint mine white and i got mine from dollar general for two dollars and fifty cent and i think she like i said i think she got hers from um home goods and it was like thirty dollars or something like that i think she said 29.99 on her video but yeah let's see if i plan on okay you guys here i'm about to remove that diamond out of that um dollar tree heart felt thing and i'm just gonna place that diamond heart in the center of the flower
So here I'm showing where I displayed the flower at. I think it turned out super cute. It could have been a little bit bigger, but I like it the way it is. It looks a little rustic, it looks a little farmhouse. I love it. Okay, here you guys, I'm wrapping this um, Dollar Tree little gift box thing. I painted it white and I had it two coats and it wasn't getting as white as I wanted. So now I'm using some white duct tape I have from a previous project. And you guys see the ending, it turned out great. Okay, you guys, see how at the end, for some reason, it's wanting to tangle more? Well, crease more, not tangle more, crease more. So you really have to take your time with this one and um, press down on it. Again, you can always paint it like I originally started, but instead of wasting all that paint, I realized I had this um, white from a previous project. So, um, I decided to use it instead, and you just take it around there, and as you go around, you kind of press it down so you can, um, press out all the creases and avoid up some of the, and, um, this part is going to be the back, so you won't be able to see it, and once you reach this part, you just, um, cut it. You just take it and cut it and you finish it off like that like I said this was this is going to be the back of the flower vase so you're not going to be able to see it then you take this piece and you just press it down and you're not going to see this so it don't have to be all perfect because of course it's going to be it's going to be sitting on the table or wherever you are trying to put it at for your valentine's day decor and that's what the back would look like and this is the the back i mean this is what the bottom would look like and this is the back this is the front see how cute that turned out that was so easy and then of course we bent down the tape right up in here as well so you're not going to be able to see this little blue part right here, so don't worry about that. You see the blue part? You're not going to be able to see it, so don't worry about that. Because once you put the flowers in, you're going to um, be good. Now we're going to take... I have another one of these. I got some styrofoam. Um, yeah, styrofoam around here somewhere. I didn't feel like being um, digging for it, y'all. I'm being lazy, honestly. I'm being lazy. And I just want to get this project out to you guys. So I'm going to take this wreath, which I know I'm not using no time soon because it's so small. So I'm just going to cut it up and use my knife. I meant my um, scissors and cut it up and just throw it in there. So the flowers will have something to stick in once we put them in there. So be careful with the scissors. And this way, um, just cut little pieces and stick them in there. So the flowers will have something to stick to. Maybe we can cut this piece in half, like this, and stick it down the sides of this. I'll use this piece to stick down the sides. Yeah, that's better. Let me take this stuff out. We don't. 
but you can always just get the styrofoam circle that they sell which i have but i don't feel like digging for it um so i'm just gonna use this and i'm gonna glue my flowers on so here i'm gonna glue the ribbon on you guys know i love the whole rustic farmhouse theme i'm just showing you guys that i'm gonna start gluing in the back that's where um you guys won't see it because once it's on the table the back side won't show so i always tend to start gluing stuff on the back versus starting on the front where everybody see all the glue stains and all that so always start in the bag on the side where you know it's not going to be seen. Okay, here I realized I glued it down just a little bit too low. So I'm going to go up a little bit higher. That's the good thing about me using tape instead of paint because that glue would have pulled the paint off versus it being tape and it wouldn't even phase y'all. the finish okay you guys this is the finish once I finish gluing my roses on here I'm gonna put this to make it all rustic yeah remember I got this off of a previous DIY so these roses um, came from Dollar Tree I used them on a <laughs> another DIY <laughs> y'all Take your stuff apart. Save it. I mean, if it don't come out how you want it, take it off. Save it for another project. So I took um, these off and I didn't throw them away. The project didn't come out like I wanted it. So I took them off and I just put them away. So now I'm going to use them to actually glue them on here. But I'm going to do um, pink and white. Some of the pink, white, pink, white, you know, like that. thumbs up the video if you guys enjoying these valentine diys Here I'm just going to glue that um, rustic heart that I got off a of previous DIY. You know the um, love sign I did a couple days before. If you haven't seen that video, please go watch it. But I got that off, uh, that heart off of those. It was a total of three of them. Um, and this is the finish I love it it turned out so cute it's so rustic glam okay you guys i'm trying to decide how i want to do this piece i want to use it on my dining room table it's a little area in the dining room table i feel like i need to add a piece to it so I think I'm going to pull this apart 
which is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Oh no, I broke it. I'm going to glue it back together. It's okay. And it'll be on the back. So it'll be all right. Oh no. Okay, so that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I can glue that back together. But I'm going to paint this and then I'm going to use this heart and these letters um love the word love these letters i got from dollar tree and um this thing as well all that came from dollar tree i'm mad i broke this but it's an easy fix see sometimes sometimes doing these diys everything don't go your way so this part is literally an easy fix and just like that that is back together but i'm gonna paint this um as well i don't want it this dark pink color that's why i snatched it off like that should have been a little bit more careful with it but um oh well it is what it is but i'm gonna paint this and then i'm gonna come and paint this i think i'm gonna paint this gray um this white and the letters pink and that'll be white. Here I realized the heart was a little too big and so I had to remove the O, put the then glue the heart down. The um, O is gonna cover the heart just a little bit, but that would be fine. Here you guys, I'm about to use some hot glue, trying to glue this back in. And it was a mistake because the hot glue dried way, like way too quick. Of course, I knew, I knew better. But um, I wind up using the liquid glue that Dollar Tree sell. And that worked just fine. Just pour a little of that in there. And it turned out just fine. And this is the finished result. I put the little heart felt from Dollar Tree on there. And 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed all seven pieces of this Valentine Day DIYs. You guys, I'm going for the whole rustic glam. Y'all know that's my theme. Some of these pieces you also can use foam housey um, as foam house decor. But thanks for watching again and.